Hello and welcome back to Gibbage's 3D printed cell phone cases. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of looking at my uh, cluttered uh, desk and uh, doing a video, what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about the process and the software I use to uh, create these cell phone cases. So right here what you see is a uh, section of 3D Studios Max. It's a, a pretty popular program used for video games and uh, movies alike. And I'm gonna, I've had about 10 years of experience in it, so I used it for uh, through 3D cell phone cases. And what you're seeing inside 3D Studios Max right now is the actual 3D scan of the 920 that I paid to have scanned in. And this is sort of how it comes from uh, the scanner. It looks pretty good on the surface, and what you can see is actually the different sections of the cell phone pretty well. You see the camera lens and the LED flash. Down here you have the speaker grill and the USB port, and even uh, the screws down here show up. And at the top you have the headphone jack and the uh, SIM uh, holder, and of course the screen. So this gives me a really, really good tool to help me figure out where everything is in the general shape of the phone. But it's not quite usable for the actual production of the cell phone case just because of this. What this is is the actual grid of polygons that it's made out of. And when you get a 3D print, you know, you get this kind of a rat's nest of polygons that is very difficult to work with. It's very dense. It kind of, you know, really messes with the whole process of creating a cell phone case just because you're having to deal with a lot more polygons and very randomness. So what I had to do is uh, retop it into something that's more workable. And uh, right here, let's go ahead and hide this, and here is the final product. You can see it's a lot more organized and it's a lot more friendly to work with in a 3D uh, point of view. And I still have different areas marked out. You can see the LED flash, the camera lens, the metal plate here, the headphone jack, and the uh, speaker grills down here, and the glass. And uh, you can see pretty much I have a virtual Lumia 920, and this is what I use to work off of. And uh, from here what I did is I created a template, which is right here and you can see that you know pretty much I have everything accounted for I've got the side buttons opened up and uh, what I use is this to basically do my cutouts so when I cut a cut case out of this template I know it's going to fit the 920 so you know it really opens up a lot of possibilities of what you can do and uh, let's go ahead and show you some of the uh, cases that I've uh, cut out from this Let's go ahead and open up the uh, stock here, and so you can kind of see what it looks like on the cell phone case. And uh, let's open up the uh, Windows Phone 8 theme. So here you can see the uh, general Windows Phone 8 theme that I uh, pretty much developed on the 8X. And this is based off the live tiles, you know, this is the great cornerstone of what is Windows Phone. And uh, you can see the uh, case really resembles with the live tiles. And I even filled in some of the live tiles with I Love Windows Phone logo right here, which is a, you know, kind of a popular thing around Microsoft campus, I'm sure. And uh, down here you can see uh, I added my own text here. This is Gibbage's Windows Phone. And this is one of the options that you can actually do yourself, is you can contact me and say, hey, I want my name on a cell phone case. And, you know, it's between five to ten dollars extra and you can truly have a custom cell phone case you know or if you want something ju just plain you know I can just go ahead and hide these here and uh, you know it just be a plain you know uh, grid pattern you know based off of the Windows phone so let's go ahead and hide that and here's the sticky theme and you can see right here that this is very similar to the uh, HTC 8X sticky theme that I did for the HTC. And uh, I think it's a really fun, very, you know, it's a great conversation starter when people see it on your phone. You know, it's just a very different cell phone case. And uh, let's go ahead and show you the uh, spider theme. Now this is a bit different from the uh, first beta since I made the webbing a bit thinner. And uh, 
a slightly different pattern, but it's still, you know, got the uh, the web look to it. Again, it protects all four corners, and you got the side grips and a slight bit of protection on the power button to make sure you don't hit it by accident. But, you know, again, it's very easy to uh, hit it when you want to. And it may look, the cases in 3D Studios Max look a bit thicker than they actually are, but they're 1.5 millimeters thick, and it's, it doesn't add a lot of bulk. It's a very light case, and uh, it works really well. It's still a very strong case and still very flexible. And let's go ahead and open up the Geo. Here's the pretty much the same geodesic pattern that you saw in the previous video, but with some slight modifications. I went ahead and opened up some of these holes here, so it kind of breaks up the monotony of pattern here, adds you know just a little bit of difference to it, and uh, I think it works. But I would love to hear some of your opinions down in the comments section. Do you like the full geodesic pattern, or do you like it with a couple of them opened? And let's go ahead and show you one of the new cases that I'm working on. Here is a uh, circle pattern. You know, uh, there's multiple layers of circles and they're all kind of interlinked to form a full case. You can see here. Again, you got all four corners protected that keeps the glass off this, you know, any scratchy surfaces and you got the grips on the side. And uh, it's a really interesting case. It's uh, something that I can't kind of came up with you know just thinking uh, outside the box and I'd love to hear some of the feedbacks in the comments section if do you like it do you not like it do you hate it do you have something else that you suggest I would love to hear your feedback and here we have the string case so this is one of the, again one of my new designs that I would love to get some feedback on so this is I kind of was browsing around and I found this really interesting chaotic pattern that I thought would look great on the cell phone. And uh, again, it really helps keep the case open so it doesn't hide the great Nokia design, but it complements it. And it also, you know, brings a lot of attention to it because it's just so unique. It's one of those that, you know, you bring it out, put it on the table, in no time people are kind of go, wow, what is that case? You know, it's a great conversation starter too because again, you know, I can have a section of this opened up and have your name in it. it it's very customizable to, you know, whatever you want. So that's pretty much my, you know, set of designs that I have. I will be uh, including more later on. And also, if you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them and maybe come up with some uh, new designs based on those comments. So. I really appreciate the feedback and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.